Alright guys, what's up? So I thought I'd make a helpful video for everyone. Like, I thought about... So like, here's my uh, spider. Hype ghost female ball python. She's shedding. Uh, the thing is, like, she had a she had a bad shed. Like, uh, like she shed last night, but not everything came off. See, what happened was, uh, the hydrometer I was using, it was off. And it was saying my humidity was around 60%, but it was actually around... 42% so that's why she had a bad shed so that's why it's good to really know how to tell like when things aren't right and you know how to check when you have like a really good hydrometer because my hydrometer was it was it sucked like it wasn't on but thankfully I caught like I checked on her this morning and I saw that you know she had a bad shed so pretty much what I do when my snakes have bad sheds I get a little shoe box uh, like, and you see holes in it, but you don't. You shouldn't poke holes in it. It's actually better this way. It's just I don't have any ones without holes in them. So pretty much what you do is you get a shoe box, put some warm water in it, and then you get like a, a brick or a rock or really anything for them to rub against. And you put them in, you fill it up, you know, put some water over there, you sit them in the water. Now, they'll soak around in the water, and then eventually, I mean, like, they're going to look for a way out. So naturally, they crawl all over the, uh, the brick so that's when you know like now that they're wet and they have the shed on them like the brick it kind of or the rock whatever you decide to use I like the limestone bricks better because they're more rough so they make for better shedding and then they rub against them and then pretty much for the, uh, the shed comes off now I've every time I have a bad shed which is not which is pretty often which is not often but you know it happens occasionally so and when it does, I mean, this is a pretty good way to, you know, help out. So I'm going to leave her alone for, like, another 15, 30 minutes. It usually takes around, like, an hour, honestly. But they they get it off. Like, as you can see, like, she's getting it off. Like, I wish I had to take a video of her before I put her in there. But this is just how she looks now. You see, she's really using the brick to help her shed. So, like, this is good. But yeah, just make sure you guys check out your hydrometers. Like I'm, actually, I'm using the digital one. It was still off. It was the Exoterra one. I'm not sure why it was off as much as it was, but it was just off. And then I put an accurate in there, and then I, I got the right readout. But now there she is. It's just a quick video. I thought it'd be helpful to show you guys. Sorry, it's a bit blurry, but yeah, it's better than nothing. Peace.